What I love about this community is, is what a lot of people love about this community. We get sunshine at least 350 days a year. The school district is stellar. You know, the rural lifestyle is really accommodating. We have a community service district that provides services to the community for water, parks and recreation, street lights, and, and solid waste. But water is our primary. Uh, water is about 95% of, of what we do. Phelan Pinion Hills Community Services District is in the high desert in Southern California. The primary responsibility of PPHCSD is to provide quality water at a reasonable rate and manage the resources that we have available to us. Several years ago, we had increases in our electrical costs, which made our costs go from $700,000 a year to over a million dollars a year just to provide water to our customers. The district had a funding crisis. The community was not happy because anytime there's a rate increase from our electrical company, it gets passed on to the customers through our rates. I would say 99% of our energy costs is through our boosters and our pumps to pump water out of the ground slope to our holding tanks and then is gravity fed to our customers. It was obvious that our electric bill was escalating on an annual basis and so we looked at alternatives. So we established an alternative energy committee, solicited bids from solar companies. Out of that process we narrowed it down to sun power. We're able to have one central project to generate electricity, and that electricity is used in exchange for bill credits. The savings on the solar can be applied to any number of accounts that we have. Those are for the booster stations, for the wells, for the community centers, for the parks. Each meter that we have set in the district it has its own account. The number one largest user is the school district. The schools benefit because they are approximately 6% of our water consumption. And they would be the largest ratepayer out of our entire customer base. Our ever-increasing costs to provide water to them takes away from what they can provide to the individual students. All right, if we're not spending money on, on uh, water bills and other infrastructure costs, we can spend a lot more money on our students. The solar project allows us to be who we are, a community services district. It not only just passed down the savings to our customers, but we're able to do other things for our community. 